everybody, what's up? Killjoy Jake here, and instead of having friends, I have horror movies. Today we got a big ol' update on Spiral from the Book of Saw. We're going to be talking about a brand new poster, a little bit of fresh marketing, like a new description of the film, which will be really interesting. I have some theories to talk about there. And also a new TV spot, which we're gonna get into in just a second here, but first I'm gonna need you guys to like this video and subscribe for more horror content. Also, please consider supporting me on Patreon. The link for that will be in the description below. Alright, now let's get into it. Well, I'm Pennywise, and see the cloud. Oh, no, not the bird! Not the bird! Oh, you son of a bitch! Ah, God, don't do that! Well, sometimes, that is better. Now, in case you're new here and you haven't seen any of my spiral updates from like a long time ago when the trailer first came out sometime like last March, I believe, let's bring you up to speed a little bit. Spiral from the Book of Saw is the ninth film in the Saw franchise and will star Sam L. Jackson, Chris Rock, and Max Minghella. Darren Bowsman is returning to the series to direct the film and it will release on May 14th in about three weeks. Now, on top of all of that, there's been all these crazy rumors that Jigsaw may or may not be in this movie in the latest trailer we got from it though we do get to see like a little picture of like Tobin Bell's jigsaw he's just kind of like in a picture frame we don't actually see him in the trailer but as of right now everything is leading us to believe that this new killer is a copycat killer but as of right now that isn't confirmed if you want to hear me talk a little more about that you can check out this video up here recently comicbook.com put out this fresh marketing like kind of just like a description of the film that reads a criminal mastermind unleashes a twisted form of justice in spiral the terrifying new chapter from the Book of Saw. Working in the shadow of his father, an esteemed police veteran, Samuel L. Jackson, brash detective Ezekiel Zeke Banks, Chris Rock, and his rookie partner, Max Minghella, take charge of a grisly investigation into murders that are eerily reminiscent of the city's gruesome past. Unwittingly entrapped in a deepening mystery, Zeke finds himself at the center of the killer's morbid game. Now, I'm not gonna lie, immediately after reading that, I had to, like, go on Safari and type in, where did Saw take place? Because, honestly, I don't know where any of those movies take place. After doing a little bit of research though, apparently there is a car that drives by at one point with a New Jersey license plate, but it's never actually stated where that first film takes place. So somewhere in New Jersey. The trailer kind of makes it look like we're in New York City, but I don't really know. I'm, I'm assuming that's where this new film's going to take place. There's obviously going to be a bunch of tie-ins from the old films that are coming back into this new one. Unfortunately, one of those things is not going to be Billy the Puppet. I talked about in the past update, like a really past update. There's this was one from a long time ago, again, uh, that Billy the Puppet will not be in this new film, unfortunately. We do have a new puppet that we saw in the brand new trailer, where it's kind of like a, it's like a pig puppet, and he's wearing like a cop outfit, kind of just like making fun of cops, I'm assuming. Like, my, my, uh, my big guess about the killer of this film is that he doesn't like cops. He maybe, uh, he's had a deal with cops in the past that abused their power. I'm assuming there's going to be some kind of social commentary there, and that's what the killer's motive is going to be. Personally, I think that's a really interesting change, very relevant to the times. I think it's gonna be cool to see. And hopefully they just don't get too preachy with it like a lot of other social commentary driven horror films of the past couple years. We also got this brand new poster yesterday that looks really cool. It's not really, doesn't really reveal anything. It does look pretty dope with that spiral behind Chris Rock there. And then in a TV spot today, we actually got a, some like a couple new clips. It's mostly just dialogue between Max Minghella and Chris Rock's character. We actually get to see like a little bit of humor between them. So like that's gonna be an interesting kind of, kind of change to this series. We haven't really got too much humor in these films. It's mostly just people getting cut up or destroyed in traps. So it's gonna be nice to kind of change up that tone a little bit. Maybe just throw in like a little bit of like, you know, side jabs and like little quips here and there throughout the film. I mean, Chris Rock is the star of this thing. Of course there's gonna be jokes every now and then. And with Sam Jackson also a part of the cast, you know there's gonna be some MFers in there. <laughs> It just wouldn't be a Sam Jackson movie without that. I mean, come on. I have expressed concern in the past about this film, though, that it just, it looks so similar to the movie Seven. I'm assuming it's going to be about, like, this new mystery killer, or possibly Jigsaw, killing a bunch of cops that, like, have done dirty deeds in the past. Chris Rock's character is obviously going to be one of his, like, main targets here or something, because we actually do get to see Chris Rock in a trap in that first trailer that was released, like, sometime last year, like I was talking about earlier. And it's a Saw movie, so of course we're going to get some kind of crazy 
crazy twist ending. Another factor about this film that I haven't really been talking about is like, who is the killer? Like, I mean, we could, it could be Tobin Bell. Maybe it's one of the characters we already know about. Do you think maybe like Sam Jackson's character could be the secret killer this whole time murdering everybody? Probably not because we actually saw him in a trap in that other trailer, but it, something like that could possibly happen in this, which I think makes this film a little more interesting than the other Saw films. We don't know who the killer is. There could be a mystery this whole time of trying to figure out who it is and then we find out, oh, it's a character that we know and love. Oh, he, he's killing everybody. What the hell? That'd be kind of cool. You'd kind of be throwing that like scream aspect in there. It's <laughs> scream. I, I just, I talk about that all the time. You know, I, everything has to relate to that. No, I, what I just mean is there's going to be a mystery element here that we haven't really seen in this franchise that's been like super effective since the, like the first three films. That's just my opinion personally. I don't really think like four through Jigsaw had like a great like twists and turns throughout them. The first three are very solid in my opinion and hopefully it can go back to that kind of like energy and magic. There's also this drama going on with the tenth Saw film that is already in the works from Twisted Pictures, the same studio that has made all the other Saw movies including this one. Now the thing about that though is Atomic Monster is not producing it, which they have also produced all the other Saw films. That's James Wan's company if you're unfamiliar. And James Wan is of course the director of the original film. Wan and Lee Winnell kind of started this franchise with the first movie and then now there's like eight sequels. <laughs> and, then, and now there's going to be a ninth sequel that's already in the works. James Wan's company is not going to be a part of it so something weird is going on there that we don't know about behind the scenes. My assumption is that maybe somebody at Twisted Pictures does not like Spiral from the Book of Saw. Like maybe it's just so different from the other films that they just didn't really care for it and they kind of want to just go back to the roots and make another Saw film. This film already looks totally different. It's going to have a plot line that is really not similar to any of the other Saw films. In my opinion, that's a good thing. I think they've kind of just overdone it with the, the, some of those movies. Like, Jigsaw is literally, the whole movie is just rehashing stuff from the past. I don't want to see that in a sequel. I want to see, like, people going different directions with things. This film is taking a bunch of chances, and that's why I'm excited for it, because some of those movies that do take chances, a lot of them are bad, notably, but then there's also those films, that 10% of those risky films that are really good and rise to the top. I'm much more excited about a film like that than just another continuation that rehashes everything that we've already seen. Because then, like, why even go see that? I'd rather just watch the second Saw movie again instead of watching Jigsaw, which, like, has the, almost the same plot. It's so similar, same twist at the ending, I, I, I don't know. Jigsaw was a big letdown, as you can see for me. <laughs> I'm pretty excited for Spiral from the Book of Saw, but what do you all think about it? Are you, like, kind of iffy about it because of how different this film is going to be? It's like, going to be kind of more of a cop drama rather than just like a, a standard Saw film like we've seen in the past? Or are you excited that they're taking like new chances and like doing a whole bunch of new stuff with this film? Leave me something about it in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching this little update on Spiral from the Book of Saw. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more horror content. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at KilljoyJake1, on Instagram at Killjoy underscore Jake, and on TikTok if you just look up Killjoy Jake, I'll probably come up. Subscribe to my second channel, Movie Smoothie, where I review everything that isn't horror. You can check that out by going to the channel channels tab on my page here and then just go and subscribe hopefully please consider supporting me on patreon as well if you want to get like some extra content every week i post podcasts there all the time and you also get to see my versus videos a day early so make sure to check that out the link will be in the description below thank you all again for watching and as always don't forget to kill it out there y'all